Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're April 28th, so it's a few days past my last video. And we had some rain, so there was a lot of mosquitoes out here and humidity was really bad. So I'm back at this. I got about three, four hours to work on it and see how much progress I can make. Anyways, um, everything's all tacked in place. I got one of these uh, shanks out. And um, I gotta decide how much travel do I want. You know, as we see, we got about five inches right here which uh, I think that might be pretty much uh, the depth that I'm looking for. And then I got to find the placement exactly, uh, as you can see some marks right here. Um, I'm using a four by three inch uh, rectangular tubing. So if it's mounted here, I'll have enough clearance for this uh, top pin. But anyways, um, it is gonna mount towards the front here. And I believe we're about half an inch shy of six feet. So I gotta cut half an inch on the rectangular tubing. And um, I'll probably weld some little pieces of a half inch steel here in the bottom just to hold things in place for me so I can weld and go from there. Here's a rectangular tubing I said. You know, it's four by three inches and it is a quarter inch so i'm gonna go ahead and cut half inch here and uh, start working on it all right guys well we're exactly uh five feet 11 inches and one quarter of an inch and basically we're a quarter inch too short and that should give us enough gap uh, to weld between the quarter inch plate and the quarter inch uh, rectangular tube in here. Now I went ahead and measured it and I went ahead and got uh, my center here at 36 inches. But in reality, um, I ended up with six inches on this side and five and a quarter on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix it right now. And that's due to this not being six feet. Totally forgot about that. Went ahead and marked it with a blue marker. Good thing I got a black one here. So I'll go ahead and correct that. And um... all right, guys, I went ahead and marked the other side already. It is pretty hot on this other end, but um, you know, we'll see how it does. It does have a little bit of play. Um, I don't know if that's gonna affect me or not. But uh, if I start having issues, I'll probably just uh, put another little quarter inch plate here on top and on the bottom just to. Uh, Give it more strength on the on here so we'll see how it does all right guys well i went ahead and put some little angle iron here with some c clamps and i went ahead and measured uh, 12 inches from the very bottom to the top of the rectangular tube in there once again the box blade is upside down and a few minutes ago i, I was trying to decide um how much depth I actually wanted on this but uh, I think what I have to do is find the the right height that way when I lock them in place uh, these will sit a little bit uh, above grade that way I don't uh, have a rough surface when I'm grading so I'm still gonna end up with about four 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 and a half inches of uh, ripping uh, on these teeth so should be good and like I said before, I don't have a 100% uh, we call it a level or plumb table. So I got some jack stands here in the bottom. I went ahead and lifted this end up so I can have the kind of like a straight uh, a leveled uh, table there, let's say. And uh, then I went and put my level on this piece, and it was leveled. So I know my box plate is uh, pretty good there. And like I said, it is tacked in place. All right, guys. Well, I'm pretty much. Uh, ready to tack this in place so as you can see i have a pretty good gap here i should be able to get the weld in there which is between about a it's about an eighth a little bit bigger than an eighth i believe here on the bottom about an eighth of an inch here on top so i'll put a little small tack here on the bottom and then pull this plate up well put a tack on the bottom there tack on this one and then after that i'll just remove this, this is, it barely has any pressure on here so i just went ahead and put the a little clip barely there grabbing on but there's no uh, no pressure to worry about there 
and once again I got another little spacer up here and that way I can get the weld in there all right guys well, I went ahead and uh, finished the weld on this side I mean I'm not a, a professional welder I'm just a hobbyist but um that was the second pass I gave it I gave it one was a uh, 3 30 seconds and this is a uh, 1 8 inch 70 18 but um yeah I think it'll hold you know I'm not too good in the vertical position there but um it doesn't look that bad all right guys while I was tinkering with the phone I messed up some settings but anyways um I put the shanks here just to have an idea of um how they'll look fully extended and I have the pin here on the on the bottom side but these are supposed to go on the top side and um, just for just for reference and just to uh, make myself feel a little bit proud of what I'm building because um, I usually start something that takes me about half a year to finish but um, you know there's all my welds again and uh, you know yeah so what i gotta do now is um go to tractor supplier harbor freight buy me an engine hoist or a engine crane pick this thing up and then uh attach something to this bottom plate here to remove it and then chunk it on that boat trailer over there and use that as my workbench because i got to use this uh this back side here this uh, back porch for uh for a party so yeah cleaning all this crap up all right, guys, well, hopefully I enjoyed the video, and um, hopefully there's only two parts more to this video, and uh, hopefully I finish it uh, quickly. All right, guys, bye-bye.